Before rim travel actually causes the gravel flints to appear, clear out the surrounding areas as much as possible. The first gravel flint will appear right here. The second and the third gravel flint will appear right here. The final two gravel flints will appear right here. Once you defeated all the gravel flints, safely escort him back to the same position you found him in order to finish this quest. Don't let him die or you'll have to start it all over. Now make your way back to the path. Now slightly turn right and you'll be at the Master's Glaive. Carefully make your way into the center of the Master's Glaive. Now that it is safe, use your Vala Scrying on the table. Speak with the Scrying Bow and turn in the quest, the Master's Glaive, for 624 experience points. You'll then be offered the quest, the Twilight Camp. All you have to do for this quest is find the clue in the Twilight Hammer Camp. Speak with the Twilight Tome and turn in the quest, the Twilight Camp, for 1,250 experience points. You'll then be offered the quest, Return to Anyu. All you have to do for this quest is Return to Anyu. Begin making your way back to the path and start heading towards Anyu. When you come to a white bear, turn right. It is very important that you make sure you kill all the birds in this area so that they cannot aggro you. Head towards the cave in the background and kill all the enemies along the way. Throw on the Blessing of Might to Valkor and then speak with him and turn in the quest The Lost Master for 774 experience points. Speak with Valkor and he will offer you one of two quests. You want to accept Escape Through Force. All you have to do for this quest is protect him until he gets back to his white bear. Once you accept the quest you'll come across your first of three waves of attacks. Your second wave of attack will begin right here as soon as Valkor reaches you. Your last wave of attack will begin right here. Now begin heading back to Anyu. Speak with Anyu and turn in the quest Return to Anyu for 950 experience points. Speak with Anyu and he will offer you the quest Master's Relics. All you have to do for this quest is collect 6 Master's Relics. 
Now let's sell those useless items you've collected along the way. Now let's earth it back to Auburn Dean. Speak with Sentinel Glinda Nashi and turn in the quest Wanted Merc Deep for 1,700 experience points and an item of your choosing. Speak with Archaeologist Holly and turn in the quest The Absent Minded Prospector 1 for 1,950 experience points. You'll then be offered the quest The Absent Minded Prospector 2. All you have to do for this quest is take the fossil to Chief Archaeologist Grey Whisker in Darnassus. Speak with Torindus and turn in the quest Escape Through Force for 1,750 experience points and a quest item. The moment you finish turning in the quest, Salarin will run up the stairs and begin a small little cutscene. Speak with Sentinel Salarin and she will offer you the quest Trek to Ashenvale. All you have to do for this quest is speak with Renee Wolfrunner in Ashenar. Begin making your way to the boat docks. Once at the boat docks, you want to take the boat to the right that leads to Darnassus. Sit the boat and begin heading into Darnassus. Speak with Chief Archaeologist Grey Whisker and turn in the quest The Absent Minded Prospector 2 for 1,150 experience points and an item of your choosing and decline the next quest he offers. Head into the building to your left and go to the second floor and find your class trainer. Speak to your class trainer and learn whatever new abilities that you can. Now head back to Auburn Dean. Instead of waiting around for a boat, head to the Flight Master and get the new flight point and fly back to Auburn Dean. Now let's sell any useless items we've collected along the way and repair any armor damage. Begin doing the quest Tharnian's Hope. 